Welcome to the 26th chapter of the book of Numbers. Here we have uh, Moses and Eleazar, son of Aaron, numbering. Actually, it's the military of Israel. And uh, for, we'll go in here and it says, and it came to pass after the calamity. Uh, I'm not exactly sure if that's Baal Peor it's talking about or uh, with Korah. Different calamities happen. Pleguein, we have a plague, comes from that word. And the Lord spoke to Moses and to Eleazar, uh, the priest, saying, Take the sum of all the synagogues, the synagogue, the congregation of the sons of Israel, from 20 years and up, according to the houses of their Patreon, patrimony, everyone going forth to deploy uh, in Israel or among Israel. So now these were uh, deploying as a military word, um, and uh, 20 years and up would show that this was the people that were men, males that were in, in the army. Now to sum up the whole chapter, we have here uh, all of the numbers that will be reached as far as the different tribes. Starts with the Reuben, Simeon, goes all the way down. I counted them all up, and it was 601, 730, as it will say at the end. The smallest was uh, Simeon. The largest was Judah. Now, as I go through here, I'm just going to read uh, the Greek names and just write, go right on through it. There's not a whole lot to expound upon outside of uh, the numbering. And Moses and Eleazar, the priest, spoke with them in the wilderness of Moab uh, at the Jordan by J Jericho, saying, so they're close to the uh, northern part of Moab there, right at the top of the Dead Sea, uh, where they go across eventually into J and capture Jericho. Uh, this is the numbering from 20 years and up in which manner the Lord gave orders to Moses and the sons of Israel coming forth from out of Egypt. So they're only a, now they're 40, 42, 43 years uh, having gone through the wilderness for 40 years. Reuben, Prototokos, firstborn of Israel. And I mentioned before, God, Jesus was called both the Monogonos, the only born uh, and the firstborn of creation, the Prototokos, uh, which is, I believe, in the first chapter of Hebrews. But Reuben was the firstborn of Israel. Now, I haven't went back and to double check in Genesis and see if that was the case or not. And the sons of Reuben was Enoch, Demos. Now, we'll have Demos throughout this chapter, and it mean, we have the English uh, derivative demography uh, uh, for the mapping of peoples. So the the sons of Reuben, Reuben Enoch, the de, the people of Enoch, the Hanukites, uh, the one of Falu, the most of the Falui, and to Ezron. Themos to Ezroni, to Harmi, Themos to Harmi. These are the people, the Themi of Reuben, Ruvine. And the number of them was three, such so three. And Tesseraconta, uh, and that's uh, the T's, the twenties, T's, the Conta, and the OCE is hundred. Remember back five or six chapters earlier we went through the numbering, or maybe more. So 340,730. And the sons of Falu, Eliav, and the sons of Eliav, Namuil, and Dathan, and Aviron. Dathan and Abiram came against uh, Moses and Aaron along with the Korah. These are the ones summoned of the congregation 
and that was talking about summoned by Moses, and they came against him. These are the ones rising up together against Moses and Aaron in the gathering, the synagogue of Korah, in the conspiring against Kiriu. And the earth, opening its stoma, mouth, swallowed them, and Korah in the depth of his congregation, when the fire devoured the fifty and two hundred, that was they were holding these censers, and the fire devoured them all, and they made these censers uh, scale type, fish scale type objects to go around the altar. The swallowing it up, we just had a large earthquake on the fifth of July, and actually with the fourth and the fifth down in Southern California, and the, the fifth was a 7.1 on the Richter scale. It made a crack quite a many miles. They haven't even figured, found out how far it goes. But this fissure, is, it's, it's not real wide, and it's only, it only looks like it may be about a foot, if that far. I don't know how far down it goes. It didn't say. Maybe it didn't. Maybe the ground just came up and it split off. And But it's got enough that people go there now. It's a... Um, tourist attraction for Southern California people to go out and look at this fissure. So this fissure that happened here with Cora must have been quite a thing, quite a sight. And they were made as a sign, Cora and these people, the ones that have come against God. But the sons of Cora died not, so not all of his sons died. Uh, and the sons of Simeon, now we go back into the counting, the, uh, the Themos, the sons of Simeon, to Namuil, the Mus, the Namuili, to Yamin, the Mus, O Yamani, to Yakin, the Mus, Yakani. So you can see where this E on the end of it makes a uh, peoples. To Zara, the Mus, O Zara, Zara, Zara. To Saul, the most, O Sauli. These are the people, the Themi of Simeon, from out of their numbering. Dio is two, duo, and 20,200. The sons of God, according to the Themus of them, to Saphon, the Mus, the Saphoni, to Agi, the most, O Agi, to Sunni, the most, O Sunni. To, to Aze, the most, the Azani. To Adi, the most, O Adi. To El Rad, the most, O Eradi. To Ariel, the most, O Arieli. These are the Themi, the sons of God, by their numbering, 40,500. Sons of Judah, Ir and Avnan, Siloam and Phares and Zara, and Ir and Onan, Avnan, I said um, it's Avnan, Ir and Avnan died in the land of Canaan. And the sons of Judah were, according to their themos, to Siloam, the most, O Siloni. To Phares, the most, O Pharisi. To Zara, the most, O Zarai. And there were the sons of Phares. Now it's interesting here, we have a diuresis above the double dot. So you split this instead of Sare, it's Sarai. You split, pronounce each uh, vowel. To Asron, the most, O Asroni. To Amul, the P, uh, the most, O Amuli. I didn't highlight it. These, the most, to Iuda, according to their numbering, six and seventy thousand five hundred. And the sons of Issachar, according to their the most of them, to Thola, the most, O Tholai, to Fua, the most, O Fua'i, to Iasuv, the most, 
o ea suvi. Tu samvran themos o samvrani. These are the themi isakar by their numbering, 460,300. Sons of Zavulon, according to their themos, to Sared, themos o Saredi, to Alon, themos o Aloni, to Ali, uh, Alil, themos o Alili. These are the themi Zavulon by their numbering 60,500. Sons of Yosef, according to Themos Avton, Manasi ke Ephraim, sons of Manasi to Machir, Themos o Machari. Ke Machir, again as they procreated, Galaad, to Galaad, Themos o Galadi. And these are the sons of Gilead, Galaad. To Achiazer, Themos o Achiazeri. To Heleg, Themos o Helegi. To Esrael, Themos o Esrieli. To Sichem, Themos o Sichemi. To Samair, Themos o Samari. And to Ofer, Themos o Aferi, and to Sal Faad, son of Ofer, there were not sons to him, but only the Gateras. And these are the names, Onomata, of the, the, the Gateron, the daughter, uh, it's a transliteration almost, it's the, 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 the sound. Uh, Salpaad, Maala ke Nua ke and Egla, Egla, and Melcha and Thursa. These are the people of Manas, Manasseh. So we'll ta- find out more about how these women get the land because it, unfortunately there was no male to that person, but they'll still get some land, we find out. And these are the Themi of Manasi by their numbering, Theo and Pentecosta, two and fifty in the Pentecost, um, thousand seven hundred. These are the sons of Ephraim, to Sutala, Themos o Sutalan, to Vakir, Themos o Vakiri, to Thanae, Themos o Thanae. These are the sons of Sutala, to Eden, Themos, O Edeni. These are the Themi Ephraim by their numbering. To Theo and Triaconta, 30,500. These, and these are the people, the sons of Eosif, according to their peoples. Now, those two, Ephraim and Manasseh. The sons of Benyamin, according to their Themus, to Vale, Themos o Vali, to Asivil, Themos o Asivili, to Achirom, Themos o Achiromi, to Sophan, Themos o Sophani, to Ofam, Themos o Ofam, that should be a capital there, I should highlight that, so I can fix that. Uh, highlight. We'll do that in red. Now there we go. Ofami, and we're to the sons of Vale, Adar ke Noeman, to Adar Themos o Adari, to Noeman Themos o Noemani. These are the sons of Veniamin, according to the Themus Avton, them, by their numbering, Pente is five, the Pentagon, five, five uh, cornered building in Washington, D.C. for the military, and 40,600. And the sons of Than, according to their Themus, to Sami, 
Dhimus o Sami. These are the Dhimi Adhan, according to their Dhimus Avton. Pontus, all the Dhimi Sami, according to their overseeing, uh, four and sixty thousand four hundred. Sons of Asir, according to the Dhimus Avton, to Iamin Dhimus o Iamani, to Iasu Dhimus o Iasui, to Varia Dhimus o Varie, to Hover Dhimus o Hoveri, to Melchiel Dhimus o Melchiei, and the name of the daughter of Asir, Sarah. Sarah. These are the Dhimi of Asir by their numbering, three and fifty thousand and four hundred. And the sons of Nephthalim, according to their Dhimus, to Asil, Dhimus o Asili, to Gavni, Dhimus o Gavni, to Easer, Dhimus o Easeri, to Selim, Dhimus o Selimi. These are the peoples of Nathalim by their numbering five and forty thousand four hundred. This is the numbering of the sons of Israel, six hundred thousand and a thousand seven hundred and thirty as it has up here. Six oh one seven thirty. All comes out. And the Lord spoke to Moses, saying, To these the land shall be proportioned to inherit uh, by the number of names, by the how many people there are. To the many the inheritance will be superabundant, and to the less their inheritance will be less. So it depends on the size of the tribe. To each as they are numbered, their inheritance shall be given. By lots the land shall be portioned by the names. So uh, the lot, now exactly how they set out the the poor proportions, uh, sizes, and then if they're doing it by the size, you wouldn't know, think they would be doing it with the lots, casting a lot. But it says, by lots, the land shall be proportioned by the names. Now, within the tribes, I'm not sure. According to the tribes of their patrimony, they shall inherit. And from out of the lot, you shall portion their inheritance between the many and the few. And the sons of Levi, according to their peoples, to Gerson, the Themus o Gersoni, to Kaath, the Themus o Kaathi, to Merari, the Themus o Merari. These are the Themi of the sons of Levi, Themos o Leveni, and the people, the Themos o Hevroni, Themos o Muli. Themos o Musi, and Themos o Kore, Ke Kaath, uh, Kore, Kore Heights, and Kaath uh, procreated Amvran, and the Onomatis of his wife was Eochaved, the daughter of Levi, who bore these to Levi in Egypt. And she bore to Amvran, and Aaron and Moesin ke Mariam, the sister, so that was the mother, Yaakov, uh, of uh, Aaron, Moses, and Miriam. And was born to Aram both Nadab ke Aviu, ke Eliazar ke Ithamar, and Nadab and Abihu died in their offering alien fire before the Lord in the wilderness of Sinai, and they were probably inebriated and uh, were struck down. And there were of their numbering three and twenty thousand, every male from a month and up. So that was from a month and up, so all of them. Three and twenty thousand of the priesthood. For they were not considered together in the midst of the sons of Israel, for a lot was not given to them in the midst of the sons of Israel. And this numbering was by Moses and Eleazar the priest, 
who numbered the sons of Israel in the wilderness of Moab at the Jordan by Jericho. Now, it says here that this was numbering was by Moses, but God told him to do it. David numbered the peoples, uh, having Joab go out and number them, but it wasn't from God, and God uh, uh, what's the word for it? Devastated Israel because of what David did. You can read that on I forgot where it's at. Second Kings. And among these there was not a man of the ones being numbered by Moses and Aaron, whom they numbered, being of the sons of Israel in the wilderness of Sinai. All the ones that were there for forty years and that were uh, that were there uh, except for the young ones. For the Lord said to them, By death they shall die in the wilderness, and there shall not be left behind of them not even one except Caleb the son of Ephone, and Jesus, uh, Jesus or Joshua in here, the son of Navi. And uh, the ones that died were the ones that were at the age of making a decision of not going into the wilderness. And those didn't come into the wilderness, that did not make it, but their children did, of course. Now, chapter 2, we, 27, I'm sorry, we go back, as I was mentioning, the daughters that Zelopha had, how they receive an inheritance, even though there was no male born to the, uh, to the, uh, in that tribe. We'll find out all about that, chapter 27, next seminar, and hope you'll join us and continue through the book of Numbers. Till then, God bless.